It was once more valuable than gold. The Egyptians used it in the mummification process. Roman Emperor Nero scented his wife's funeral pyre with it. Medieval physicians used it to treat coughs. Health food stores now promote it as a supporter of healthy glucose metabolism, and researchers are exploring its potential as an aid in cognition. We're talking about cinnamon, a spice found in the inner bark of a tree, originally native to Sri Lanka. Well, chemical analysis reveals over 80 compounds present in the bark of the tree, with cinnamaldehyde, cinnamic acid, and eugenol being the major components. A variety of polyphenols, such as catechin, syringic acid, epigallocatechin gallate, have also been identified, but there's nothing really special here. Uh, these polyphenols are found in all kinds of plants. Investigating plants as a sort of potential pharmaceuticals is a popular area of research, and uh, that is exemplified by the 2,500 or so studies about cinnamon that can be collected by searching the scientific literature. By engaging in cherry picking, it is possible to drag up studies about cinnamon's cholesterol lowering, anti clotting, anti inflammatory, antibacterial, anti cancer, or antifungal effects. These studies then can be twisted by marketers or bloggers with various agendas to imply more than what the data actually show. Perhaps the most popular claim is that cinnamon has some sort of anti-diabetic effect by lowering blood sugar. Some studies do show a small effect on blood glucose, others don't. Taking all the studies into account, the American Diabetes Association dismisses cinnamon as a treatment for diabetes. In 2023, Iranian researchers scrutinized the medical literature for cinnamon's possible effects on memory and learning. They found 40 studies, some of which looked at the effects of cinnamon on cells in a petri dish, while others investigated feeding cinnamon to animals or to people. In general, the studies did suggest that cinnamon can have a positive effect on cognition, but significant proof is lacking. For example, some of the in vitro studies revealed that cinnamon or cinnamaldehyde can reduce the aggregation of tau and beta amyloid proteins, and these are the hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease. Observing that in a petri dish, though, is a long way from justifying the use of cinnamon as a treatment for the disease. Of all the studies, only two were proper placebo controlled trials in humans. One found improved memory in adolescents who chewed cinnamon gum, while the other showed no effect in pre-diabetic adults who ate two grams of cinnamon every day. So where does this leave us? What does it all mean? Cinnamon is a spice. It has a pleasant aroma, agreeable taste. I would forego cinnamon buns, lots of fat and sugar in there, but if you enjoy dipping a cinnamon stick into your tea, or sprinkling some on an apple or on your toast, go ahead. When it comes to memory enhancement or sugar control, let's just say that the evidence is less than compelling. Finally, it is interesting to note that the label of a cinnamon product sold for, quote, healthy glucose metabolism, sports in small print, supports blood sugar levels already within the normal range. Hallelujah. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.